already, as Sun and Fun 2015 is starting to come to a close, we got all of, well, partial day left. We wanted to save the best for last. And obviously, well, coming by to see the newest, bestest, mostest, fastest, whatever you want to call it, and the Abingdon line is certainly top of the list. Tell us about Catherine. Catherine is um, one of the best watches we've ever released. Um, not only does it come in eight different color choices, which is something we've never been able to offer before, but it has patent pending technology that we've also never seen in the aviation watch industry. What we did is we stuck the alphabet around the bezel so that it can help pilots with ATIS. And oftentimes when we're in the cockpit and we're doing our approach briefing and we're getting ready to come into an airport, we want to have everything as close to our fingertips as possible. So we can rotate the alphabet around the bezel to a magnifying window between six and seven o'clock, and then boom, you're done. If I have information Foxtrot rotated there, I can finish setting up my airplane. When I'm ready to call tower, inbound with information Foxtrot, runway two one, quick glance at the wrist, that's all I needed. So it's incredibly simple, incredibly useful in the airplane. The other thing that is being featured on the Catherine is the ability to change all of our bands. Our bands are now 100% interchangeable. So for a metal band, it usually requires tools to remove. That's how easy it is to remove it now. So you can stick your silicone bands on. We're releasing leathers. We're releasing different materials that you can have a band on. And then you can just pop it right back on. It's just as strong. So we have a variety of interchangeable bands that work with Catherine, Jackie, Amelia, Elise, all of the different models that we have. And then we also have our first dive watch. And that's something totally new for the company. Uh, we are getting into diving, we're getting into race car driving, we're getting into tactical watches, all again with the focus on providing products for women that haven't been out there in the market yet. And so our new dive watch, which is named Marina, was successfully kickstarted in uh, December of last year, and we're in April now. So we raised $66,000 during our Kickstarter campaign of 23 days, and we are gonna be producing and releasing this in June. So a huge thank you to all the people who help support this company and fund us. And we're going to have it available to you real quick here. Outstanding. Now, there's a name behind each of the brands of watches. Could you just give us the stories behind these? So one of the common misconceptions is that we name our watches after famous individuals. And uh, that's actually never been the case. We make a watch first, and then when it's born, we take a look at it and see who it looks like. What does the name, how does it characterize? So for Catherine, it's a very smarty but very classy watch. For Amelia, it's a very hardworking and a everyday watch. For Jackie, it's much more blingy. It's much more almost the princess of our group. For Elise, it's a much more classic, refined, delicate style. So every single watch is named once they're created. And we have a really cool test pilot program from our existing customers. What we do is we'll reach out to an existing customer, unbeknownst to them, and invite them to be one of our test pilots. For example, with Marina, we worked with eight aviators who are also master divers, owners of dive shops, and Marina being our dive watch, we wanted people that were familiar with the dive industry to be able to build this. They worked with us for a year and a half on a test pilot program before we came out with it. So it's really fun, really interactive. All of our customers have always been our best designers. Outstanding. For those who aren't familiar with the company or its history, why an aviation watch company designed specifically for women? It's been a fairly small amount of the population, obviously growing now and all, but I would imagine it would have had to have been one of those business decisions that's got everybody around you but you kind of scratching their head going, eh, this doesn't look so good. Yeah, when I started this company in 2006 because I wanted a flight watch, I mean, I started it for purely selfish reasons. Everybody was a naysayer. Ah, that'll never work. You're 6% of the industry. Nobody wants an aviator watch for women. That's why none of the other companies have done it. Well, obviously it's working. We're now coming out with dive watches. We have more styles than we've ever been able to offer before. It obviously is something that women want. And it's just getting people into the door. That's what I'm all about. If my watches can bring more people into the door because somebody says it looks like their Michael Kors or somebody it says that it looks like their Chanel watch or their Gucci watch, great. I just made that woman realize that women fly. And now a lot of aviators that are seeing our dive line are now saying, wow, I never thought of diving before. Diving is also only 30% of the industry is women. So it's also a minority. Now they're stepping into the diving world because we now have a product that introduces them to that. I think it's great. Aero TV is brought to you by 
Explore no limits flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADSB ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADSB solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com.